and uh, be a walking dog a walking animal after your 40 50s without any relations or without even relating to a relation or without being the capability without having the capability to relate yourself to the relations because of loss of your emotional values because of your over investment in financial uh, uh, technicalities and mathematical analysis and computer system analysis you are totally exhausted all of the possibilities of your valuable humanitarian instincts by which of you can not even relate yourself to any relations so this type of uh, suffering and be joyous for suffering the late now you have to enjoy everything because you you cannot enjoy in the later part of your life so this is the present trend so india has five things to teach to the globe the first thing is refinement sanskara and the second thing is contentment tripti third thing is sacrifice tyaga fourth thing is integrity aikya fifth thing is potence shakti the real shakti is saving others it is not ambivalent either to save others or to destroy others or destroy everybody and even the planet as a whole it is not shakti shakti is a capability in which you can reconcilate even with your enemies ripunam api vatsala that is the greatest shakti that we have implanted in our holy land so these five things are given by our land if there is contentment why you are going for uh, advance shift then night shift double shift post shift overseas job why you are going for that because you don't have contentment you have to see whenever you see there is a reasonable way of earning each and every penny that you are earning more than what you deserve you can keep it it with you and with the interest it is going to be spent for some other unnecessary thing if you see not in proper vyaya it is going to be converted into vraya so there is no other option so contentment is a basic quality of life only our samskaras they have given that the first thing i have already told samskara that is garbhadana samskara jata karma anna prashana karna vedi chaula chandra darshana surya darshana pitru darshana nishkramana aalaya darshana jihva lekana akshara abhyasa karna bhoda upanayana samavartana innumerable samskaras are there the these samskaras they refine the human being to be a capable tool for the society a real possibility i told in one gynecology seminar a person can be 99% he can be under our control our child can be 99% under our control before conceiving by means of prayer at the time of bearing them inside our body 75% they can be controlled at the time of their growing since their birth to one year they can be 50% controlled up to the age of 7 uh, till they are getting that uh, pragna awakened pragna they can be controlled 25% then everything is optional either they can control you or you can be a mute spectator it can happen so this samskara is only available in india nowhere else in the world how to qualify and how to refine these people huh? see you are producing good gold you are producing quality mechanisms you are producing quality airplanes quality trains quality computers high end systems but only people to produce quality people is our indian culture <laughs> who will produce quality indians who will produce quality human beings huh? it is not as best breed even in poultry they say that it is the best breed huh? for our eating we are consuming uh, this is the best pork this is the best beef this is the best uh, poultry it is the best medicine so in everything we want something best so the consumers ourselves we are best bred only by the system of indian culture the indian system of philosophy that is samskara second is tripti third is tyaga if your person is properly initiated and ignited at his before that is pre conceptible age then at the time of the labor and the post that is pre natal natal and post natal stages by means of spiritual refinement that the person will have tyaga that the person will be having aikya such a person will be having also that shakti and that a person will be also having one more quality it is known as health infection it is not disease infection he will be having a health infection so that wherever such a person samskrita person wherever he goes he will infect he will be contagious by spreading his health by spreading his spiritual progress and progress he will be totally infecting the society that is a salubrious infection so it will be a health infection agent not a disease infection agent just as we are reading in hiv hepatitis b this that and everything etc so our stotras and our shastras and our shrutis they proclaimed and prescribed such a system by which we can create not only a healthy person but a person who can radiate the other components other variables other dependents other associates and co-inhabitants of the society by getting the spiritual health transformed that is now we are coming to the conclusion our india only has started the whole world now yoga and ayurveda 
for physical salubrity ayurveda and for mental precision and perfection stabilization and tranquilization they are teaching ayurveda so there is yoga shastra likewise now we are having the universal system and its functions nobody can define what is evolution and what is creation our indians they are having the karmic cycle of intelligent design how to interpret the 